um, I found a slight problem, and that is camping rules have changed in Northern Territory this year. Um, back when I was up here last time, you could camp anywhere and you didn't need to pay for anything. But now I've discovered that there's signs at the entrance to every camp spot um, that bookings must be made and paid for online. And there's no set uh, um, camping spot in the sites. So my problem is I have no phone reception, so I can't book anything. Uh, which is a slight issue and um, I'm gonna have to figure something out for tonight maybe head back towards Alice Springs get some phone reception and book another campsite down the highway um, so yeah it looks like I'm gonna be rocking into camp late yet again and um, yeah that's where we're at at the moment so that's a bit of a bummer you know, the reason I come up to the Territory in the past was because you didn't have to pay for camp spots. Just like over in Victoria, you don't have to either. So, but you know, up here, you know, there's like Ellery Creek, big hole, turn off. And uh, and there'll be a sign on the entrance in there that says that you have to pay for it. So, uh, it's unfortunate um, that it's come down to that, really. But can only do what you can only do so all right I'm gonna keep driving and I'll uh, let you know when I make it to camp all right update time guys uh, I'm not too far out of El Dunda. as far as I know it's probably about 25 or 30 k's from the last sign I saw um, it's been a pretty long day I've been driving for a little bit over 11 hours 708 p.m. It's dark, I don't have spotlights, I don't like driving at night time in the country due to kangaroos, um, as they are pretty hard to avoid. I do have the bull bar on, but I still don't want to hit one. And uh, yeah, once I get to El Dunda, I'll have a five minute break, and then push on to Colgara. Um, Colgara, I'll probably get there probably about quarter past eight, something like that, along those lines. And, uh, then I'll set up for the night uh, again in that same campground that I set up with on the way up. Um, hopefully they should they should accept the late booking, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's only an unpowered site, so I don't need power. And uh, yeah, that's about where I'm at at the moment. All right, guys. So I found what I was looking for. So last night on the way through. I found the missing stubby holder at El Dunda. So they do tours from out to Uluru from there, so that's where I must have grabbed it from. So this is definitely the one. I'm pretty certain anyway. Central Australia on it, a couple of camels, or a few camels on it, and Uluru and the uh, Northern Territory logo. I'm stoked with that, it's good. So just uh, backing up some footage now and I'll be on the road and headed down to Udnadatta. All right, just hit the SA border with Northern Territory. There's a sign over there. Um, got 160 k's to Marla and then I'm heading out to Udnadatta. So uh, we'll see how far we get down the track tonight. Um, should be interesting, we'll see how we go. All right, guys, just about to start the Udnadatta track. Drop on tyre pressures, I'm 24 at the front, 26 at the rear. Uh, the road sign says open to four wheel drives only. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty corrugated, I would say, just looking at the road surface here now. Um, this does not look great at all. How about if we look at it back this way? So, that's pretty corrugated. Cruiser's ready to rock. Been really reliable this whole trip. Absolutely love it.
right guys, made it to my campsite. So this is the one that Uncle Pete and I stayed at last time. So the 90 series was parked there and Uncle Pete's was parked over here. But it is so overgrown now, and this was two years ago. Um, it's unfortunate that you can't really park over in this area anymore. But yeah, that's where we had our fire. But also the ground's kind of eroded and angling down, so you can't even set up and sleep there now. I've got a bunch of birds flying over. Um, yeah, so I've decided I'm sitting up here because this is probably the flattest ground out here at the moment. I might have a little bit of a fire, we'll see. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm keen, keen to get set up because it's starting to cool down. And being back in SA now, the weather is a lot colder. So, um, yeah, we're going to get it set up, cook some dinner, and uh, possibly have a little bit of a fire tonight. All right, that's dinner done and dusted. Just about 7.30 at night. There's not a whole lot to do around here. I'll uh, show you the rig from afar and just how I'm all set up at the moment. Um, gives you an idea. So, can't really see a whole lot, but I'm set up here, I was in front of the cars here, so just set up here, give myself some light, and just set up a little bit back towards the car, at the back of it here. Um, just have my light on here. This is just my headlamp. If I can get this to turn around, there we go. So I was just using my headlamp to light up the back of the car. And then I just got another light. I just um, Velcroed to the side there, just to give me some light over here, just to give me a bit more safety. Um, I am solo out here by myself. Um, and because of that, I've got my inReach in my swag, and I've armed myself with something as well, just in case. I should be all right though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, tomorrow, onwards to Coward Springs. I'm gonna have a dip down there. Um, from there, I'll check out Lake Air, and then I'll see where I'm at, whether I get another uh, campsite somewhere, or if I just head straight home. So, uh, it just depends on the time constraints. So, we'll see what happens. But I'm off to bed, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> 